I was traveling for work. Are we? Mm -mm. Like, are you asking me or are you telling me? So this is the code that, oh. All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesdays. So this morning, first thing that I'm working on is actually looking into a email that we received about maybe an issue with reporting. So yesterday we went through changing the logic in one of our reports. And in doing that logic change, it was to align with the reporting for another team so that, you know, one band, one sound, like this is like one of the struggles in reporting and analytics is aligning so that the logic matches across multiple reports because people will be like, hey, why is your numbers, why are, you know, why are your numbers different from the numbers in this other report? And then it's like, well, my report is doing this. And they're like, what is the other report doing? So you have to reach out to the owner to get an understanding of what it is and how they're doing their calculations and math. And it can just take a whole bunch of time. It is great when we can align to do everything the same way. So with this other team, our reporting was different for our purposes, what we were doing. Like we were capturing the same thing, but it was going to be different. And we met with him to get an understanding of why those reports would be different. So I knew that, but okay, I posted this on Instagram, but last week I was traveling for work. I went to Minnesota for a week. So I missed all of this happening. There was a, the person that owns this other report that we met with earlier in the month of February to get an understanding of how they're capturing their reporting so we can explain the differences in ours to people. So he changed his logic. So we, we've been asked to change the logic in our reporting to closely align to his. So we went through doing that yesterday and then this morning get an email hey your report isn't capturing it so I don't know if it's related to the logic change that we just did or not so what I'm going to be doing this morning is I need to actually go through some of the tables to see because our like for the base both of our reports should match now the only difference is that like their report their report is day minus one and ours is day minus two so a day difference in um the data so it will be slightly off but when it's caught up and everything aligns everything should be matching. So I'm going to go in actually into Teradata and I'm going to pull this employee's results directly from a couple of the tables to see if these sales are showing up because they're like, oh, I'm not getting credit for this particular type of sale. And I'm just like, well, okay, I need to look at it and find out because you're, they gave me, I asked them to give me an example of a sale they completed. So they gave me the um, information related to the a sale they completed yesterday that they should have received credit for that they're seeing not is not showing up now granted the the dashboard that they're looking at is again two days in arrear so it would not show up to them there just yet but it is in the database or I'll say it should be in the database by now so that's what I'm going to be working on I'm going to um I was actually working on a query related to this type of sale for my manager on Monday she asked me to start pulling this and that's another thing I need to work on I need to work on on finishing up that code, doing some validations, making sure that I don't have any duplicates. And I think I'm going to put this in Tableau, like create a Tableau dashboard with this data, because I don't know how frequently we're going to use this or if this is just a one time request, but I want to do some visualizations in Tableau with this. So I'm going to hopefully go back to doing that later on. Um, but let me work on, I can actually use this code since it's looking at the same type of sale. I need to actually get their sales information first so let me look that up so where is this employee's information so this is the code that even though you guys may not be able to see, but this is the code that I've been working on since Monday. It has the information I need to identify the sales rep. And also I'm pulling from the table that has the actual um, sales that I'm looking for. So I'm going to pull from this, once I get the employee sales information, when this other query finishes running, I'm going to input their sales identification information and what would be I think their inquiry was about this month yeah they're saying for this month the month of March so I need to change my date range in here to reflect March instead of like the time frame that I'm pulling currently is like year to date 
so it's going back to January of this year. So I need to pull March month to date. So I'm going to pull through March 12th because we do not have same day results. So like as sales are happening, it would not upload in this in these tables. Like it wouldn't be available until tomorrow. So I'm just going to update my sales date range to reflect March. And this always takes a long time to run from these tables. I don't keep saying I'm going to use the new Teradata. I don't like the new Teradata. I don't like the new Teradata. It doesn't give me like Teradata Studio. It doesn't show me error messages like at the bottom of the screen. You don't like you see how this is highlighted if y'all can see this a little bit like when your query is running it's highlighted in like this little peach color in Teradata Studio. It does not do that. I do not like and the old Teradata isn't even supported anymore. I need to get used to using it because they may just be like we're not supporting it and we're taking it off of all of your desktops as well. But I see everyone in the office like that you know that has access and does this kind of stuff. They're still using the old Teradata too so like feel kind of stuck like what do I do? I don't know. Like see I just hit like is it even running? I don't even know. It's not telling me. What is the name? Where's the dashboard? Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I can't find this employee. Okay, and then I lost access to a table, so I'm reaching out to get. All right, so I'm gonna wait to see if I can get access, my access. I'm reaching out to get access to these tables. Okay, let me try one other. Thank you so much for giving me access. An update, the data came back from the table for the sales that have been completed um, March month to date, so through yesterday. Now I just need to check this check this data against another table to see if it's there. Like if this particular, if this was a specific type of sale, that's what I'm checking against this other table because not every sale is going to show up in this other table. It's only specific sales. So I'm going to check to see what it was and if they did, the, if any of these 18 sales that I see were this particular type of sale because I was just checking to make sure one you had sales and actually let me check they sent me a, a order let me see if this sale actually shows up in here because they said the latest order was yesterday or the latest sale was yesterday so I'm checking to see if that sale is in my data they gave me mm -mm, seven I don't think this isn't no girl Maybe this is the issue. They're thinking that I don't see this sale. Okay. Um, I see a sale yesterday, but I don't see this sale. I don't know. Is that on this? Is that in here? Yeah, because maybe you're doing something. Where is this at? This is the or This is the sale information I'm seeing. Maybe you think you're doing it and you're not. Oh, great. Select all. Oh. From where equals actually let me copy this whole thing. Oh hold on, let me see. Did I write it wrong? Oh, underscore ID. Okay, let me fix this column name. Not paying attention to the column name. Like I thought it was just like one straight word, but it has an underscore to separate the words. So is it the other one? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so this is saying that but this other data. So this one did not have it. Hold on, no. That that one. <sighs> So this one had it. Okay, let me find. I don't know if these are matching because this has three. Oh no, there it is. Hold on, I'm look. Oh no, this is a different day. They said this was, hold on, am I reading this wrong? Oh, okay, this is me. They said, I looked at this yesterday. We got the email today, but they actually sent the email last night. So yesterday to them was actually the 11th. Okay, because I was about to say, I do not see the sale. What are y'all talking about? But I see it on 
in one of the tables. I was like, I see it on the 11th, but I don't see it. I'm not looking at the right day. So I see these two align. So yes, this one, that is here. It's in one table. It was captured as a seal in both tables. And in the one they're talking about, yes, that was captured. But these other, I need more examples because no, I see, yeah, they're not showing, yeah, it's not showing that it was this type of seal that you think it is, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, uh, they're gonna have to provide me another like example. The one there, the specific example they gave me, yes, it's capturing it correctly. So I don't see this being related to a change in logic, but maybe you're under the impression that these other types of sales will count in this like as this specific type of sale and it's not so I'm gonna investigate and look into it a little bit further but I don't think they have a correct understanding of how these are captured but yeah it, it so far based on the example they provided it is tracking they will see it when the data refreshes today because again our dashboard is day minus two so they'll see it reflected in our dashboard on today's refresh Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you this tip for anyone that's creating a dashboard in Tableau. One thing that we commonly get asked is, hey, what date is the data through? And also when's the last time that the data was updated? So what I like to do is create a calculated field and in that calculated field, I will do a fixed level of detail with the order date or whatever date field you have in your data set. And I use that and I will add it to like a blank worksheet so that I can then add it onto the dashboard. But that's going to bring back the last date or record that's in my data set. So that will show when the when the dashboard's updated and refresh, it'll show, hey, your data is updated through this date. So after I add in the, the most recent date into my data, I will add in the header, like the title page, I'll add in and insert the data update time. And this is going to look for the most recent refresh that you've done to either your data extract or if you have a live connection it's looking for the last time that it's been refreshed and updated so when you insert that it'll give the most recent date and time that was done and then underneath that I've added the data through which is pulling back the last date that the data is through from that data hope that helps But these other sales that, yeah, you did do them, but it, does, it doesn't qualify as this specific type of sale that you're thinking it does. So I'm going to respond to them and say, hey, I've looked it up. The sale that you provided in the example, it, I do see that as a qualified sale. It will track in reporting when it refreshes today. However, yeah, I, don't, I see you've done other sales this month, but they're not this specific type of sale so yeah but I'm gonna look into like each order I'm gonna look at all of the sales they've done this month just to double check in the system like the sales tool that the reps use I'm gonna look in there just to double check and make sure because I'm gonna do my due diligence so yeah so I'm gonna work on that for a little bit and I'll check in with you guys a bit later okay you guys so I don't know when I last checked in if I said that issue I believe it's resolved but I won't know because the salesperson is on the west coast I'm on the east coast it is currently like 11 my time and so it would be 8 a.m their time I don't believe most yeah I don't believe the sales reps um start work that early I don't think so so we'll see we'll see what they say like if they give a response or who knows if, if they're even working today so that issue I believe is resolved from what I've checked I checked all their sales orders in both tables and compared them I went into the actual sales system to see like should these particular transactions count the one like all of the ones in one table all the data looks accurate to me so if they come back with some screenshots examples then that's another story I can look into it further but from what I'm seeing currently are we like are you asking me or are you telling me because I don't think they they told us is that what she's saying that wasn't my okay that wasn't my understanding so okay Sorry, y'all. I like to verbally respond to messages. Like, that's a bad habit I have. I will verbally respond to a message and then not actually physically respond. Where? 
where where they must be having a side conversation about this it's in this document that's what they want to do like are they commenting here no i don't need i already pulled all the data but you should have everything you need okay all right so i've just outside of that so what i've been doing after sending out that email about the sales i've been working on getting some of my reports updated so now that that's updated and sent out i am going back to working on my code i need to pull a sample of data for the the well, i need to close some of these excel files out like i got so many excel files like when i'm working on code i will take some of the sample like a, a thousand rows or two thousand rows of data i'll copy it out of the database paste it into excel just to look at it and manipulate it and look for like right now i need to look and see if there's any duplicates so i'm going to do a conditional format on here to kind of identify really quickly if there's any duplicates that weren't like apparent to me in the database like yesterday when I was looking at it like it was just very apparent we had I had duplicate rows of data and I needed to make some adjustments to my code so I wasn't yeah no response to that <laughs> no response sir okay but so far I don't see any duplicates in this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a tableau workbook and put this in there so I can analyze the results that way I mean I could do it in Excel but I think I'd rather do it in tableau even if this isn't like published for the public use I can just put it on the server um, like publish it to our tableau server have access to it for myself and my team you know if anyone wants to go in there and view it so that's what i'm gonna do i want to work on visualizations because what we're what my manager wants to know is like okay so for these sales that happened january february as well as march month to date like where, where are people landing as far as performance goes so like like if we're looking at our top middle and bottom performers like are you staying in those categories month over month are you has your performance increase decrease you know just the standard stuff I guess that's what she's wanting to know so we're gonna because I think they're trying to verify like are certain initiatives having an impact on performance when we look at sales and other things that are going on that they're pushing like there's other initiatives that our VP wants them to push and people have kind of like a short attention span if that makes sense like you're held accountable to several I want to say like five or six key metrics right that is like that's on your performance review like that targets and things you need to hit every month you're held accountable to that and they will have initiatives to kind of push you to reach and exceed those goals but I feel like people lose focus like when you start to focus on one specific thing like one of those six items like it's hard to focus on it because you're telling me pay attention to this pay attention to this pay attention to this I may lose sight of these other goals that it, that I also have to meet as well so and then sometimes they switch what they want you to focus on but you're still responsible for everything I feel like that is a struggle for some people but we'll see so I'm gonna work on this dashboard I want it to look like another dashboard that I've done before but I'm trying to pull that up I don't think I published that dashboard I think it's just saved to one of my files so and I need to save this stuff like to GitLab and whatnot and be more productive or like have like a repository there but anyways I'll check back with you guys a bit later